guys, it's Jia here. Welcome back to my Food Talk channel. So today we're gonna talk about Cantonese dim sum. In this part one episode, I'm gonna mainly talk about the histories and stories of dim sum. And in my next video, which is the part two, I'm gonna talk about the dim sum varieties, dim sum restaurants, how do they work, and some little tricks to make you become an expert dim sum eater. So it's gonna be fun! Let's go! Dim sum is also called yum cha, which means drink tea. It's a style of Cantonese cuisine. Often served as bite-sized portions, it has over a thousand different varieties. Many restaurants start serving dim sum as early as 5 in the morning until mid-afternoon around 3 p.m. However, in modern society, it has become commonplace for restaurants to serve dim sum at dinner time. Dim sum items are also sold as takeout for students and office workers on the go. The history of dim sum started from Qing Dynasty, that's about 370 years ago. There were some tea houses in Guangzhou, which is the capital city of Guangdong province in China. These tea houses were normally very small and shabby, with only few tables and benches for people to take a break and have some tea during the day. But slowly, they became very popular. More and more people came to these tea houses for more than just tea and snack. It became a social place for meeting people and talk about business. And the size of these tea houses had become bigger and nicer as well. The most important thing is they start to have more food on their menu. And that's the beginning of dim sum. In the past, the most signature serving was called yin, which means a pot of tea with two kinds of dim sum per person. Ha gao, shrimp dumplings, siu mai, pork dumplings, dan ta, egg tarts, cha siu bao, barbecue pork buns. Those are four of the most popular items in dim sum. We call it four heavenly kings. I will introduce more details about them in my part 2 video. In the 1960s to 1980s, many people like to hang out at tea houses first thing in the morning for dim sum and exchange their experience about their beloved birds. And their sitting was based on what type of bird they owned. However, in 1990s to 2000s, many restaurants banned birds because of some sanitation problems. Until today, dim sum or yum cha is still a very important tradition for Cantonese people. The seniors like to start with a pot of nice tea early in the morning, have a couple orders of dim sum, read newspapers, and chat with friends. During the weekends, having dim sum with the whole family is a major event for most of the Cantonese families. And we all know how busy the good restaurants are, so the younger people in the family always have to go earlier to get a table first and wait for the seniors arrive. So in my next video, I will introduce more about dim sum restaurants, how do they work, dim sum varieties, and some dining tricks that can make your dining experience better. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and come watch it. It's gonna be a fun video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video and it won't dream I'll be happy. I'll see you next time. Bye!